Hello Umut here, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to create a mixed media journal page. But before I start, I want to show you some new uh, beautiful products. This is a scrapbooking paper pad from uh, Stamperia. And these are some new rice papers from their autumn min winter release. And I love them, so I wanted to share it with you. The rice papers are amazing. It's cute little girl with, the, with her uh, magic wand uh, and nice sentiments next to them. This is a paper you can use in four uh, different projects, uh, if you ask me. Uh, so I'm looking forward to using all of them. Uh, all related sentiments and cute little girls. Rice papers are amazing. Uh, they are really inexpensive and, and uh, really with nice visuals that you can use. Look at this, it's amazing. You will see me using this one for sure. Um, and uh, I think uh, objectively Stamperia has one of the best uh, rice paper designs. Uh, very differentiated, uh, very interesting. I love these flowers and they have uh, pearls in the middle. So I'm thinking maybe we put real pearls in the middle uh, as a, to add interest. And this is another one that could be really nice for a background uh, or there are nice uh, visuals as well inside little owls and so on and this is what I'm going to use uh, in my mixed media journals uh, it's a scrapbooking paper pad which I loved uh, really so I'm going to actually create a mixed media journal alone uh, that has five pages from this uh, scrapbooking paper this will also show you how to utilize a full uh, paper pad maybe. Look at this clock, it's amazing. Uh, all these frames that could be used in different ways. There is a black version. And this can be such a nice background. Uh, I love these textures and these uh, wordings. Uh, creativity, knowledge, inspiration. And this is amazing uh, background as well. Script backgrounds, always useful to have. I will quickly show you all the paper for you to see the designs. Uh, I will release videos in uh, short times for you to see the whole journal process. Uh, we will do five pages and then we will do some uh, simple cover. Uh, so we will have a full journal. As usual, you will find full list of supplies down below at the description area with online links that you can purchase the products. Stamperia is an Italian company, uh, so it's really useful for my European friends to order without having uh, all these charges with products coming from the US. But they sell uh, globally and you can find stores that sell Stamperia as well. For now, let's leave this aside and uh, this is my journal that I was talking about. It's a very thick uh, chipboard journal with book, with book binders. Uh, so I'm going to take one page at a time and I like it because I can uh, put a lot of uh, um, dimension in it. So from this uh, paper pad, I'm selecting one of these papers as my background for this one. And uh, I, I keep looking to see which uh, visuals I can use for my focal point or background. I like these uh, numbers as well, so I'm going to take this paper too. Let's start with these two and uh, we see where we go from here. I don't have a plan, and so I selected my papers uh, as I started uh, for my background. Uh, I don't know yet what's going to come on top of it. But uh, I'm going to have this uh, black side of the paper as my background and then I will cut the numbers and uh, put them on top of this black background. You will see in a second. I'm using my mixed media glue to stick this uh, part of the paper on my page. And then uh, I will uh, 
look at the numbers, cut them and put them as well. I have an idea of making a mosaic of these numbers. So I will cut some of them and uh, stick it on my page above this uh, black background. You see here I cut my numbers and uh, as you see I am planning to do a mosaic like this. Now I am going to take them out and stick them one by one. The beauty of using these chipboard pages is you can add dimensions. So I will use my wooden shapes again from Stamperia collection. They have beautiful uh, wooden shape sets that you can use in many projects with different elements in it. You can see here in this one there is a circle frame with a bird. There are keys, there are sentiments, borders, uh, corners. So it's really useful to have. Uh, I'm trying to decide which ones I will use. I will use this bird cage from another uh, set and I will use this key for now. And uh, I love owls. Uh, so when I saw owls here in this pad, I said I, I will use for sure one. So I selected this uh, cute little guy. I'm cutting it and I will also cut it from that uh, shape. Now I decided to have this keyhole as well. Uh, there is an idea that the owl will be on top of the key and the keyhole will be on the uh, bird cage. There is another shape I found from the paper pad, uh, a circle one. I'm going to cut it as well. I'm, this, uh, I'm putting this uh, printed uh, sentiment that says freedom on this shape and uh, I want it to hang from this uh, key that my owl is carrying. So as you see I created a little story on my uh, page. I'm just going around the edges of my owl uh, because uh, this makes it uh, look perfectly cut and also I get rid of the white edges. Uh, and I will color this keyhole, the key and my birdcage with uh, gold acrylic paint. This is heavy body acrylic paint from Stamperia. make my background a little bit more integrated, uh, not like cut pieces on top of each other, I decided to give a little bit color, use my acrylic paints to do this. So I'm using the black and the gold. Uh, I'm going over these uh, parts with black and uh, bringing it to the numbers. This way they will be integrated to the black background. I'm using my uh, baby wipe just to avoid hard edges and uh, blend it nicely into the numbers. Now I'm going to use a bit of gold uh, to define borders and edges of these uh, numbers. It will help differentiate them and highlight them.
you can see the beautiful uh, shimmer. I will show you in a second that this uh, gold paint gives. Uh, I really like it. Here you see. And uh, I will uh, do some splashes as well with this uh, same paint. To make things uh, more cohesive, I will use this gold paint to give color to this circle shape as well. And also I will uh, give some highlights to my owl with this gold paint again. Not uh, covering it all but do some strikes with my brush just to have highlights. Now the fun part, I will stick all my elements. Uh, this is decoupage glue from uh, Stamperia, it's really strong. That's why I'm using it to stick my wooden shapes. And uh, I will stick them on top of each other. As you see here, I had a chain in my stash. Uh, I thought it could be a nice interest, uh, like the cages uh, hanging with a chain. So I'm using again uh, the mixed media glue to hang that, to stick that uh, chain. I'm sticking my uh, keyhole and my uh, key. Since my owl will be on the key, I need to have a balance for him. Uh, so I'm using uh, foam tape to stick my owl to have the same uh, dimension as the keyhole. I'm going to use another piece of chain as if the owl is carrying the key uh, with this uh, sentiment on it. I will also have this uh, circle shape with a sentiment raised. Now I'm going to use this crystal drop uh, product from Stamperia. Uh, I will uh, put it all over this circle shape. And uh, it will look like glass, it will dry transparent, give a nice texture, like glass texture. Uh, I thought it would be a nice addition to my page. And here is the finished result. I hope you like it. Uh, I really like the blacks and the golds and how cohesive this page is actually. And I like the story on it. Uh, you will see the second page soon in a couple of days in my channel so don't forget to come back to see that. Just to remind you will find list of supplies down below at the description area or in my blog and uh, you will find close up pictures in my blog as well and here you can see them. If you like my videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already or put likes, uh, leave comments. That's how I know you like them and I keep doing. Thanks a lot for watching and hope to see you next time.